Ladies and gentlemen, we have a lot of ground to cover today. I have so many mixed feelings about the curly community and today I just wanna let it all out, share my grievances, and also share your grievances. If you're new to this channel, hello, my name is India. Yes, I do have wavy curly hair, but today it is all brushed out because I wanted to show imperfection and chaos and fuzz and frizz and six day hair that was slicked back in a bun and then I brushed it out and I just wanted to show the reality of having wavy curly hair. If you could take five seconds to hit that like button at the top of this video before diving in, it would really help me out so much. Hit that like button and Let's dive in. So on my Instagram stories, I asked you guys to share with me your grievances in the curly hair community, and honey, they are just coming in. They are flowing in. To begin, one of the most common grievances in the curly hair community that I see, and I feel myself, is the perfection of curls. And that perfect curl is almost always a 3B curl. That is the goal image shown in ads, shown on television if there is curl representation. Whether you have waves and you're trying to make your hair curlier, I often find myself feeling that my hair needs to be more defined um, to be relevant. And then whether you have type 4 hair, you're trying to make it less curly, it's always striving for that perfect curl. And alongside that, just the perfection of no frizz, perfect definition, volume, wash day lasting 7 days to perfection incredible refreshes day after day. I feel like so often on social media only the perfections are shown in the curl community and like I love frizz. <laughs> like, I love frizz. I personally love how my hair looks when I put no product in it, let it air dry out of the shower and it just gives me big voluminous wavy beachy look. But social media tells us that it's not perfect and often influencers only show their hair perfect. Next up on the docket of curl grievances we have you guessed it, ostracizing the waves and the coils. Kind of along the same lines, but people just saying I'm so sick of people telling wavy girls that they don't have curly hair. I, of course, relate to this so much as someone with wavy hair. I don't have straight hair, so I'm not in the straight hair club but my hair isn't quite like a spiral curl, so I'm not in the curly club, and I'm just kind of in my own little club, like, with the fluffy hair, like, hey guys. <laughs> Moving on, the, probably even arguably the biggest comment is just the rigidity, rigidity? Rigidness? Rigidness? The strictness of the curly girl method. Right before starting my YouTube channel, I was watching tons and tons of women of color's YouTube videos like Mahogany Curls, Sunkissed Alva, Penny Tovar, all women who I've become friends with today, which is such a beautiful full circle moment. But um, a lot of them preached the curly girl method. And so that is what I really latched onto and followed it very, very, very strictly. You know, you constantly hear influencers say, never use sulfate, never use silicones, never use parabens, never dry shampoo, never wash more than once a week, never try to tangle, never bleach your hair, never straighten your hair, never curl your hair. Finally, I was just like, good night. Like, this is just hair, y'all. Like, it is not that serious. <laughs> and I kind of felt crazy at the time being like, guys, I use silicone sometimes. And people would be like, <gasps> you do? And it's like, yeah, like, it's just not that serious. I do know many of you follow the Curly Girl Method strictly, religiously, and I think that's great and amazing if it works for your hair. But as many of you said in the poll, sometimes silicones work for you. Sometimes you want to dry detangle before getting in the shower. Sometimes you want to straighten your hair every couple months because it's fun. You want to switch it up. You get bored. Like, listen, life's too short to never straighten your hair. I think the Curl community is losing a large group of people currently because it's so strict and so perfect and has no room for frizz and fun and mess ups, you know? I've had a lot of girls message me recently saying that they're just tired of it all and they wanna just straighten their hair every day, like more than ever. And it makes me happy and sad because I think that you should straighten your hair every day if you want to. If you don't want to wear your hair as it is naturally, if you don't feel beautiful and confident and happy, straighten it every day. But um, I think the curl community is a lot to blame because it is so regimented and perfect and so many rules that it can be really exhausting. Next, I'm seeing a lot of comments about the prices of products and I think that really just depends on you. You, at the end of the day, are the one purchasing the products. So I, like for me, example, as an influencer, I really try to work with a variety of brands from I don't know, the top of the top, let's say, Bumble and Bumble, you know, $32 shampoo, whatever it may be, all the way down to Aussie, Herbal Essence, Ma Maui Moisture, Not Your Mother's. Um, I would say, I'd have to look through the brands I've worked with, but it's definitely predominantly drugstore, because I do, 
I do respect your budget and I do think that the drugstore has improved so much drastically in the last couple years to where you don't have to spend $30 on shampoo if you don't want to, right? Now, obviously, if you're looking for fragrance-free, cruelty-free, paraben-free, like some of these things come at a cost and you're going to have to pay that in a more expensive product, but you get to choose where you spend your money. So if you like to pay a drugstore price, then look for great influencers that are going to show you and demonstrate drugstore products and work predominantly with drugstore brands. Like that might be your girl, whereas the girl who's constantly promoting like, you know, Tom Ford Gucci, that might not be your girl. That I don't know, that comment surprised me just because you do get to spend where you put your money. Um, and I do think that in the past, I feel like it was Diva Curl, a lot of really expensive brands that did curl products. And now I feel like you can find amazing hair products at the drugstore for waves, curls, and coils that are targeted to you specifically. To conclude, if <laughs> I have ever made you feel like your hair isn't perfect enough or your hair needs to be curlier or less curly or anything like that, I just wanna apologize. Um, in advance, I really do strive to make my hair content about just embracing what you have. I would love if you would share down below your biggest grievances in the curly hair community. If it's something I've already said, great. I would just love for you to share and expound upon it. I really wanna hear you, hear your feedback and see what I can add and implement to my content to feel more inclusive and less perfect. So share your curl community grievances below and can we just talk about how long my hair has become? I mean, I know this isn't crazy long. Like I know girls have hair to their butt, I know. But for me, I feel like my hair has not been this long in a minute and it's really fun. I feel like, I feel like high school India, college India. It's giving college India. I'm just aging backwards, guys. <laughs> All right, I love y'all. Subscribe and um, check out my Instagram as well for more not perfect curly content. All right, bye y'all. <laughs>